Hey gang, hey everybody, how about an oven roasted beer can chicken tonight? Hell, I thought I'd try it out. I like chicken and I like beer, so we're going to combine them together. We could, what you see right there is a big old five pound bird, a yard bird there, chicken. <coughs> I took it out of the package, washed it off. I've just been letting it air dry for about an hour. What I'm going to do first though, I'm going to put a little oil on it, a little earl all over. I'm just using vegetable oil. What I'm going to do, yeah, that's quite a bit. I'm going to rub that all over this bird. Like that. The wings and everything else. And I'm going to put some lemon pepper on it. Yeah, buddy. Get out of there, lemon pepper. I like lemon pepper on chicken. Yeah, we're gonna get all over that bird there. How about that? And I got my oven heating up to uh, 350 degrees. This is a five pound bird. What you wanna do is roughly cook it about 20 minutes per pound. So we're going over like what, for about 100 minutes? <laughs> but I'll check it in about an hour and a half. I got some uh, smoked paprika. That'll give it some good color. Yeah, how about that? I'll just pat it all in there. I got one dirty hand, one clean hand. So let's flip this big bird over. Just like that. And do the same thing over here. Let's put a little oil on it. This side's still a little bit wet. Yeah, oh, look at that. Lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. Of course, you can add anything you want to it, I guess. I just like lemon pepper. And that smoked paprika is pretty good, too. Yeah, a little bit more of that, too. Yeah, massage bird. Yeah, looks pretty good. Now, I got a half a can of beer here. I took the liberty of drinking the other half of it. What we're gonna do, I'll tell you what, I got an idea. Hang on one second, everybody. Hang on one second. I got a clove of garlic here. How about we chop some of this garlic up and stick it down in that beer? See if that'll fit. Bring you guys over here so you can see what I'm doing. Yeah. One clove of garlic down there in that beer. Now, how about that? I'll give it some more aroma. Getting up in that chicken butt. All right, there goes a cast iron pan. Now this is gonna be messy. So uh, here we go. I want to put this half a can of beer right in the center of our cast iron pan. Now, we'll take this big five pound bird if I can, this is going to be, <laughs> you guys are going to have to forgive me, this is going to be a mess. I'm going to stick it right up its rear end. Oh, that fit pretty easy. Now, I don't have one of those deals that you, uh, that helps stand it up. So we're going to have to help stand it up itself with its legs, maybe. Yeah. Maybe you have to put the legs backwards or something. How about that? All right, guys, let me figure this out and we'll be back in just a second. <laughs> All right, gang, let me just tell you what I've done, gone and did on you. I cut up a bunch of potatoes and made a bed around it. Now, what those potatoes are doing are help that chicken stand up straight because it wasn't going to do it by itself. So I'm going to put this in the oven. Well, my oven is on 350, like I said. We're looking for an internal temperature 165 degrees. I got a thermometer. We're going to pull it out, let it rest for 10 minutes, and then uh, we'll see what happens. That big ass bird didn't want to stand up. So, you guys are in the way of the tripod. So, I'm going to gingerly put that in the oven. 
<laughs> it will come back by an hour and a half. Check on it. So uh, hang on. Hey gang. So I let it go for an hour and a half. <clears throat> I just now take it out. I just now took it out of the oven. Check the temperature. It's at 170. So I'm gonna let it rest. I'm gonna let it sit here and rest for 10 minutes. Then all the juices get distributed back into the meat. Those potatoes. <laughs> mm, I've been taste tasting those potatoes for a couple of minutes here. Uh, so we'll let, let, let it rest for 10 minutes. We'll be back. Make us a plate. So uh, hang on. We'll be right back. All right, guys. It's been about 10 minutes. And I let it rest and I cut me a breast up. I tell you what. <clears throat> those potatoes were a lifesaver because, God, it helped it stand up. Plus, man, all those drippings off of that uh, chicken went down into the pan, into the cast iron pan. And also helped them cook. Oh, I wish you could smell it. I wish you could smell the house right now. And also, I forgot to mention, uh, when I chopped those potatoes up, I covered them in a little oil with salt and pepper, then added them to the pan. So uh, they had a little season on them before they went into the pan. So uh, I got a, I got a breast here cut up. Oh, man. It's so juicy. Gosh darn. Look at that. It was an hour and a half at 350. Yes, here we go. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh, man, it's so God dang good. You know, in hindsight, I thought, in hindsight, if I was thinking, I'll just stuff some of that garlic. Up in up up under that uh, chicken skin, is that garlic cooking to that uh, that meat? But I don't really think it needs it. Here's one of those potatoes, guys. I swear to God, just mmm. What I did do, see that there? It's a piece of garlic. About halfway in, I chopped some more garlic up and just threw it in a pan. And that helps the, it just helped everything. The whole house smells insanely good right now. Oh my God, I don't have a beer with me. But if you stuck around to the end, trust me, we're going to have a cheers. And we'll see you next time. Tip of the day, have some potatoes or a uh, beer can chicken stand. Because <laughs> if it wasn't for the potatoes, I don't think I could have done I could, I couldn't done this tonight. But anyway, I'm going to tear that up, boys and girls, and, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out. As always, bye.